Hello everybody, my name is Pajisho, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tablezilla Plus. Last time, not much plot, plot happened, not plus, plot happened. Uh, I just fought this giant monster. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I was planning on going there, but I want to explore this area a bit more. Just to see if I can find, uh, you know, uh, those bandits, or the, or, so if a guy, like, uh, wanted to help that guy to do his thing, and whatever. Hey, there's nothing else in this area, because, you know. Tarlanian Abyss? Is that what it said? Uh, Tatalanian Abyss. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I do this before I... Eh. This is gonna get... You know, I can always cut this out. But I'm sure you guys, you know, want to see all this. You guys want to see, you know, all the levels I'm getting. All the Lillium Orbs I'm setting up. Because you know you love seeing that. Do you guys, do you guys really want, want, want to see this? Cause I'm, I'm seriously asking. Like, I, I can just leave this in, and, but you guys won't be able to respond until after I upload this. So maybe in the near future, hopefully after I finish, you know, like um, my recording session. That you'll say something like, oh, actually, you guys would have been saying something you know, earlier if I, you know, uh, in earlier parts of the episode. So, uh, I don't think uh, we should go. And if you here. don't eat a lot, you'll never grow bazoongas. Bazoongas, kind of creepy. Yep. Uh, uh. So someone was someone was going on. So hey. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. Dimensional breach. Okay. Whoa. What is that? Uh, let's check over here. Nothing. So, what the heck is this? He said he found us sprawled at the foot of this hill. Let's look for a path down. What's that? We must have fallen from there to the bottom of the cliff. Isn't the rift a little small? My guess is it's about to collapse. Jumping back through would be a leap of faith. Count me out! It looks too dangerous! Let's head back to town and figure out another way. Hey, everyone. If you plan on returning to Risa Maxia, then I think it's time we parted ways. What? What makes you say that all of a sudden? I know that we pulled off a successful spyrite tethering together, and we found out some great news. But I'm afraid the only way to stop Gaius at this point is to fight him. I don't want the way you feel now to get in the way of your true feelings. I agree. If we can't be honest with ourselves about why we're fighting, then there's no point in fighting in the first place. In other words, you want us to make our own decision. It'll be a difficult ride ahead. 
I guess it only makes sense. <sighs> Mind if I have some more time to think? At least until you're all ready to leave? Sure, of course. Don't let your current emotions get in the way. <laughs> I'm almost acting human. Mila? Sorry, it's nothing. Wait, isn't this... The spirit fossil came off. Wow. So now she doesn't need it anymore. Because, like, I know it's like... Wait, why is the spirit fossil on her leg showing it the leg if those in my costume is still on? But anyway, uh, buying time. There's no way replacing everything Spyrex with Spyrites is gonna be easy as it sounds. In terms of raw numbers, just think of how many Spyrites we'll need. It's true. The Spyrites need to be researched, created, distributed. It won't happen overnight. There is much that needs to be done. But if we can't buy more time, the spirits will go extinct. I will buy us time. Maxwell said it himself. If we remove the schism, the mana that it contains could sustain Olympias for a considerable amount of time. And that's what you intend to do? Yes, it is. It's a long road ahead for all of us. But the more pressing problem is Gaius. If we can't stop him, it'll be too late for Olympias. Yeah. Okay, so... Gaius. Well, Gaius a balance. So, uh, let's head back to Triglav. And let's actually buy, uh, you know, some items. I don't understand. The spirit fossil came off. How is she able to continue walking? Because Mila's a boss. That's why, Jude. You don't mess with Mila. Yeah. Okay, so. Get all, all the necessary things. Especially that. Elixir. But all. Omega elixirs. You're so worth it, but too much. Okay, let's try to expand the shop. No, uh. Six. Thirty one. And. Blue crystal rod. Oh, and some discounts. Oh my god, we're getting so close. Okay, this thing's uh. 22. 5. 22. Okay, items. One. Twelve. Okay, you gotta sell a lot of these. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's about good enough. Yeah, give me new items, dang it. Actually, expand the X. Oh, they use the same thing, so. Can't really use that, can we? Wow. 
something stronger than Mila's demon weapon. But, uh... Hmm. Some... I really want to get something that's... No, oh, we already have something that's over a thousand damage. Uh, I don't think she should have go over a thousand damage, but maybe if we still upgrade. Maybe we'll find out. Like, more, the majority of these are stronger than what she. We want equipment. Wow. I wasn't. I didn't even have my ultimate weapons on. That's why. Like, we were doing so little damage. It was so dumb. Really? No to self. Never <laughs> take off the demon weapons. Because I'm about to say, there's something stronger than Mila's demon weapon? No, there's nothing stronger than Mila's demon weapon. None of them. None of these are stronger than the demon weapons that they have right now. Wow, I felt so dumb, like... Like, oh, how come I'm not, I'm not getting this out quickly enough? I didn't have my freaking demon weapons on. Serious? Seriously? Demon weapons are your best friends, guys. Don't leave with them. Don't, don't fight without them. Okay, for two. And now, right here. What's up, Balin? Here are the secrets. What are you doing, Alvin? Figured I'd stay away, since everyone's so sick of me. Maybe because you're a big fat liar. Yeah, that's just who I am, all right. And what about you, Elise? Wondering what to do? Yeah. I just don't know what the right choice is. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't know much about being a kid. Never really had a childhood. So were you a member of Exodus ever since you were just a little boy? Yeah, that's right. I thought it was okay to trick people. When things would go bad, I'd just disappear. I'd take the path of least resistance. I pretty much just did whatever didn't hurt me, that's all. Then... Does that mean you won't be going with Mila and Jude? You know what? That kid forces me to wake up and smell reality. They're all just so mature, the way they hide their real feelings about me. Oh, now I get it. You're lonely, aren't you, Alvin? I've never been much for expressing my feelings, I suppose. But even if they do hate me, I have to stick it out. I'm not leaving this time. So does that mean that you really want to be their friend again? I've learned that building real trust with people takes a lot more work than you think. Being a grown-up sounds like an awful lot of pain. 
It seems like the older you get, the tougher it is to share your feelings with others. Anyway, no one will want to be friends with me until I can make the first move. It's hard, but it sure beats being alone. I wonder what I'm supposed to do now. What do I have to do to become happy? Well, it's different for everyone. You just have to find what works for you. I'm sure you know what you want by now. I guess so. It hasn't been easy, but I've learned a lot traveling with everybody. I know that. I definitely don't want to stop, that's for sure. I want to keep on learning more, and I want to make some new friends. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Some help you are. I told you. I'm the wrong guy to ask about this stuff. Sorry about that, kid. Huh? That's a thank you. I just wanted you to know that from now on, I'm gonna be your friend, okay? How come the kids are the wisest people in this group? Trouble sleeping, young miss? Yeah, I still haven't made up my mind. What about you? I've reached a decision. I have decided to go with them. I see. I wonder if I'm the only one who's still on the fence. You're not alone. Huh? When Lord Klein passed away, I inherited the keys to the kingdom along with many doubts. But eventually you figured out what to do, right? I used to think that everything works out if you do your best, but I've been proven wrong every time. Does Agria still haunt you? I keep thinking, there might have been something else I could have done for her. I know that feeling well. Oh, you mean with King Noctigal? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Let me tell you, life does not become any simpler the older you get. But I must say, I am a bit surprised by you. In what way? I was under the impression that Jude was the one who occupied your every waking thought. Uh, come on now, don't be silly. Is it obvious? Yes, I'm afraid it is. You know, I once thought that if I became a nurse, that I might find happiness. After all, when Jude's happy, I'm happy. Simple enough, right? But now, I'm starting to get the feeling that Jude just might be better off without me. I mean, I don't want to get in his way again, you know? Leah. Would you like to know what my reasons are and why I've decided to go along with Jude and Mila? Are you willing to tell me? I would like to be there to walk with them in the future that they wish to create. <laughs> that sounds like you. But that's not all. Huh? I plan to take the lead and pull the two of them along behind me. That is my true desire. And I? What do I really want? I think you already know your answer, miss. 
What I really want is to see Jude's smiling face again. I suppose that's it. That's a good reason, isn't it? Hey, don't you want to sit? You've changed. Not really. To be honest, I'm so scared I can't even sleep. I told you before, if we can just dispel the schism, I'll handle everything from there. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Mila! If the schism disappears, so will the temporal crossroads, right? Yes. The destruction of the schism means the death of Maxwell. The temporal crossroads were born from Maxwell and that unique spirit climb, so they will vanish too. Why? Why didn't I realize what's happened to you? Hmm? I know. You never told me because... because you wanted me to find my own answer first. Isn't that right? Mila? It was just easier for me that way. Huh? The entity known as Maxwell is essential for the spirits. So they will need a new Maxwell. Then we won't be able to stay together anymore? The sadness of parting is a human emotion. Such emotions no longer apply to me. And there's no other way, is there? Maxwell created me, so... Perhaps he could restore my human body. Jude, is that what you really want? Let's create a new future for all the spirits and people in the world. And let's create it together. Together. Thanks. Gaius! Is Muse with you? Just relax. I've come here to tell you something, and that's all. Then talk. We are ready to commence our operation to wipe out every Spyrix in Olympias. So your attack from before was just to check whether Spyrites were usable? Exactly. You came here to tell us that? No. Listen. You have a dream for the future of the world that is vastly different from mine. So... You plan to fight us here? This is a piece of Muse's power. The power to slice through space? What of it? 
here. I give you a chance to return to Riza Maxia quietly if you choose to. Hmm. You'd still offer us a chance to end things peacefully. Gaius, you know full well that we can't walk the same path. Not anymore. So you say. But I wonder if Mila agrees with that. Why should I? What makes you think I've wavered? One can only handle so much. Take Muse, for example. What about her? She is very torn. She has incredible power, yet she knows not how to use it. In hindsight, I was cruel to force such a weak person to become strong so suddenly. You want to save her too, don't you? Along with the rest of my people. Stand down, and I will take over. Your words cannot shake my will, nor can they alter my mission. It remains unchanged, even after all this time. I see. Jude. Hmm? Our choices matter. They're meaningful for precisely that reason, because they're our choices. Following the will of others will lead nowhere. That's why our choice right now is more important than our own survival. So Jude, please. Watch over me so that I stay on my path until the very end. Yes, I promise. Sleep well? Yes. That might have been the best sleep I've had in my entire life. I was dead to the world. I decided I'm coming with you. I won't bore you with my reasons, though. Thanks, Leia. Let's do our best. Yep. I'm coming too. And me three! I shall accompany you as well. Wouldn't do for the only Olympian here to sit this one out. So you've made up your minds. Then there's something we need to tell you. Check this out. Nifty knife. Gaius brought this to us last night. He called it a piece of Muse's power. Does that mean we could use it to tear open the breach? Looks like it. Gaius truly is inscrutable. He's mocking us. I don't think so. We might be fighting against one another, but he's a good guy. Nice to see you're actually talking to me. Uh, uh well... I appreciate it. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a bummer there's nobody here to send off the heroes! That shouldn't be a problem. We'll just have to accept that we're unsung heroes. Who needs an adoring crowd? Let's have a pre-battle cheer! If you insist. Couldn't hurt. Make sure to put some feeling into it! Indeed. Here goes nothing. Everyone, let's finish what we started. No. God dang. Long cutscene. Whoa, whoa. Now it's green. <laughs> I like it. I don't think that that happened in, uh, when I first played as Jude. But, uh, 
Use it as a knife. Very good. So now, uh, uh, let's actually do a musing bell use. Muse seems to have fallen completely under Gaius's control. I'd say it's more that Muse has finally found someone she can rely on. She had been yearning for someone to guide her. That girl has some big time dependency issues. She's like my own dark shadow. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Whatever the nature of their relationship, Muse's ability to manipulate dimensional space is now in Gaius's hands. That is no trivial matter. Agreed. Even the Great Spirits are no match for a blade that can sever dimensional barriers. That doesn't sound promising. Should we turn tail and run away? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> do you really think I would say such a thing? Of no, course not. You know me well. I thought I heard um, Alvin say yes. <laughs> but, uh, head to the dimensional breach. <laughs> So now, can we? Nope. But we can head directly straight to there. But, uh, you know, it's it's about, you know, 30 minutes into this. So I think I'm going to call this an episode. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, share with all your friends. Check out the links in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. For more, let's play Tales of Zillia Plus. See you guys then. Power out. Yeah.